Hello guys and welcome to this Vox Wizard car sales video on this 2005 55 Rage Mark 5 Golf GTI DSG 5 door. It's done 89,800 miles. It's had three owners from new. First was a lady GP. She was retired when I bought the car off her and she had it for about 10 years. And then my wife had it for about three years. And then I sold it to a chap who I've known for 20 years through the Volkswagen scene. And he, um, he used to show his cars so he knows what he's doing when it comes to looking after cars. So it's in great condition. It's got a full history, partly VW main dealer. In recent years, it's been to a specialist for a lot of the time, actually over the last sort of four years, I've done all the work. I've done DSG, oil changes, cam belts, services. I've just done the 2021 service, which was due at the end of 21. I've done it in just now. It's not done many miles since the last one, probably about 4,000, so it's not been over. And it was just an oil change because it was a full service in the end of 2020. And I've also taken the sponge out of the offside wing, which was still there. I'd cut the end off it and kept it, but now I've taken it out altogether. And I've waxed in both wings with some Normfest cavity wax. You can see there, I've actually run it across the lip, but then I pulled the aligner down here so I could spray it in from inside. But you can see there's quite a lot. This side was, um, was rust-free. There's a tiny bit on the inside we'll come to in a second. Uh, wheels were refurbished by Prestige Wheel Center at the end of 2020, uh, 21, I mean. Uh, they've done a brilliant job and they're still in great condition. The car's a little bit dirty because I haven't got time to wash it now and film it, and I thought it was important to film it. The light's gonna go very soon here. It's got vaults with a number of plates front and back. It's totally unmodified. The last owner fitted mud flaps. That tells you a lot about him. And uh, yeah, it's a great example. This is a pretty new as well. I think they're back end of 21. I fitted those padges, they would be. And I painted the bells on the back discs then, which have held up pretty well with silver hammerite. I had a mirror casing repainted. And uh, yeah, but other than that, it's original. I had the spoiler painted, that's a long story, but uh, on the tailgate there. Uh, so yeah, some chips on the bonnet, which is original. I think I'll touch those in though. Uh, front bumper, no chips. Uh, this wing, no chips. It's a bit of maybe some small chips there, probably mainly insects. Original windscreen, that's very, very rare. It does have a chip there, but you can't actually see that when you're driving, so it's not an MOT issue. Let's have a look inside then. So we've got Vienna leather, we've got DSG, we've got heated seats, we've got cruise control, which I fitted. We've got some six CD player there. A bottle opener still there, which is really the cup holder adjuster as well. Uh, original mats in great condition. Also have stickers on both sides, they're still there, looking a bit old now. That one looks pretty fresh though. In a bit we have a load liner and we have radio carpet underneath as a result. And there we have the spare wheel. There was some water getting into the boot for a period when we had it and um, that's sort of damaged the data sticker but it's not done any other damage. I really kept an eye on that and it turned out to be water getting in through there. So I've gummed that up with some silicon seal it hasn't done it since it's really annoying that was to show you in this side there you go it's not really had much use in the back and then the cockpit so a bit of wear on the bolster kind of understandable the lady i bought it off originally was quite old so she probably found those seats quite restrictive i replaced this because it was scratched with rings that's mint I've just replaced the uh, VW logo on there. Even the driver's floor mat, look at that. These mint pedals are good. Let's get in the starter up. 89,704 miles. And then nothing on there, all goes off apart from handbrake door open. You can fix that. And seat belts, is it bonging up? No, tailgate open, okay. Now it's got the single CD player there, that's pretty standard. And we've got paddles, which actually, I thought it was standard on all of them. Early cars didn't have them, weirdly. The book pack is missing, but I know where it is. It's with the producer I'm going to get that. I did a diagnostic scan when I did the service, and amazingly, there were no faults recorded. I also scanned it for the previous owner a few months ago. Again, there was nothing recorded. That's quite unusual. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. And there we go there. So two litre turbo, four cylinder, um, 100, uh, 197 brake horsepower, power, 200 metric horsepower, six speed DSG, 
and uh, all original stickers on there and wings dated 25th week of 05, 26th week of 05 and 23rd week of 05 so yeah original Okay guys, well, thank you for watching this Fox Wizard car sales video on this Mark 5 Golf GTI. If you need any more information, don't hesitate to get in touch. My name's Andrew Chappell. Contact details are at volkswizard.co.uk and viewings, as ever, as they have been for 20 years on this car, are by appointment because I'm often not here and if I am here, I'm working on other people's cars which have to be done to a deadline to not disappoint them. So yeah, get in touch, make an appointment and I look forward to seeing you soon.